John and Rose's Wedding Day Surprise Chapter 1 Today was a special day, a day everyone had been waiting for. The sun was shining brightly over Miami Beach, but surprisingly it was winter. John, beautiful black hairs. It was a sunny winter day with just a sprinkle of rain here and there. What a perfect day for a wedding, he thought. He could already picture the beautiful decorations, the joyful laughter, and, of course, his stunning bride, Rose. As John got ready, his stepmom, Nicole, bounced around the house like a cheerful bumblebee. John, are you almost ready? The guests will arrive soon, she called out, her voice filled with excitement. Nicole loved weddings, especially her son's. Today, she wore a lovely blue dress that matched the ocean's sparkle. She had spent the whole week preparing for this day, making sure everything was perfect. John looked in the mirror, adjusting his tie. He felt a mixture of excitement and nervousness. What if something goes wrong, he wondered. But his father, Johnny, entered the room, giving him a reassuring smile. Relax, son. Today is your day to shine. Just remember, no matter what happens, everything will be okay. John felt a little better. His father's calmness had a way of easing his worries. He took a deep breath and tried to focus on the fun that lay ahead. After all, he was marrying Rose, the girl of his dreams. Chapter 2 the arrival of guests. Soon, the guests started to arrive. Friends, family, and even some old schoolmates filled the beach with their laughter and chatter. The colorful decorations looked fabulous against the backdrop of the clear blue sky and the soft sound of the waves. John spotted Rose with her friends, looking radiant in her white dress, which glimmered under the sun. Wow, she looks amazing, he thought, his heart racing with joy. Nicole hurried over to greet the guests, her smile shining brighter than the sun. Welcome, everyone. We're so glad you're here to celebrate this special day with us, she exclaimed, her voice bubbling with happiness. The crowd responded with cheerful cheers and claps. Everyone was in high spirits. But just as the ceremony was about to begin, dark clouds suddenly rolled in from nowhere. What? Is it going to rain now? John thought nervously. The guests exchanged worried glances, and the atmosphere turned tense. Don't worry, it's just a little rain. Nicole reassured everyone, but deep down, she felt a flicker of concern. Chapter 3 The Rainy Twist As the first drops of rain began to fall, John took Rose's hand and led her under a beautiful arch adorned with flowers. I can't believe this is happening, he whispered, his eyes sparkling with joy. But then, as if the clouds were listening, the rain poured down, drenching everyone. Oh no, Rose cried out, giggling as she tried to shield her hair. The guests squealed and scattered for cover, but John and Rose stayed put, laughing in the rain. It's okay. It's our special day. A little rain can't ruin it, John shouted, trying to keep the mood light. Just then, Nicole had an idea. Let's move to the tent, she yelled over the rain. The guests quickly helped each other, and in no time, everyone was huddled under a big white tent. Inside, the atmosphere turned festive, with laughter and playful banter filling the air. Looks like we're having an unexpected beach party instead, one of John's friends joked, making everyone laugh. 
John and Rose smiled at each other, realizing that this would be a wedding they would never forget. Chapter 4 The Mysterious Guest As the wedding ceremony resumed under the tent, something strange happened. A mysterious figure appeared at the edge of the beach. He wore a dark coat, and his face was hidden beneath a wide-brimmed hat. The guests whispered among themselves, eyes wide with curiosity. Who is that? someone asked. Is it a wedding crazy? another guest wondered. John felt a chill run down his spine. Who could it be? Was it someone from Rose's past? He tried to ignore the figure, but it felt as if the person was watching him. Ignoring the mystery, John took a deep breath and began the ceremony. I promise to love and cherish you, he said, staring into Rose's eyes. She smiled, and he could feel his worries melting away. Just as they exchanged rings, the mysterious figure moved closer. Who are you? John called out, a bit startled. The figure took a step forward, and everyone gasped. Chapter 5 A Surprise Revelation Suddenly, the figure removed his hat, and to everyone's surprise, it was John's long-lost cousin, Max. Surprise! Max exclaimed, grinning from ear to ear. John couldn't believe his eyes. Max, what are you doing here? he asked, laughing in disbelief. I wouldn't miss your wedding for the world. I had to sneak in to make a grand entrance, Max said, winking. Everyone burst into laughter, and the tense atmosphere lifted instantly. You scared us, Rose said, giggling as she hugged Max. John felt relieved and happy that Max had made it to the wedding. You're just in time for the vows. John shouted, feeling his heart swell with joy. The guests welcomed Max with open arms, and the ceremony resumed with even more laughter and cheer. Chapter 6 The Vows and the Dance With the rain still falling lightly, John and Rose exchanged their vows under the big white tent. I promise to make you laugh every day, John said, looking at Rose. And I promise to always be by your side, Rose replied, her eyes shining with love. Their words filled the air with warmth, and everyone cheered as they kissed to seal their vows. Once the ceremony was complete, it was time to celebrate. The band began to play lively fun, and everyone hit the fun's floor. Nicole led the way, dancing with such enthusiasm that everyone couldn't help but join in. Fun like no one is watching, she shouted, laughing as she twirled. John and Rose joined the fun, laughing and spinning around in the rain. This is the best wedding ever, John said feeling grateful for every moment. The rain made everything more crazy, and everyone was having a fantastic time, splashing and dancing in the puddles. Chapter 7 The Unexpected Ending But just when everything seemed perfect, the rain started to pour harder. Uh-oh, looks like we might need a backup plan. John said, trying to keep the fun going. The guests rushed to find shelter again, and the tent started to fill up with laughter and chatter. Suddenly, there was a loud crash. Everyone gasped and turned to see one of the tent poles wobbling dangerously. Hold it steady, Nicole shouted, grabbing a side of the tent. Everyone worked together to support the tent, and through teamwork, they managed to keep it standing. Who knew weddings could be this thrilling? Max exclaimed, laughing as he helped hold the tent. Rose giggled, feeling grateful for all the fun moments they were sharing. 
Chapter 8 The Grand Finale Finally, the rain began to lighten, and a rainbow appeared in the sky. Everyone cheered and rushed outside to see it. The sight was breathtaking, a perfect end to a day filled with surprises. John took Rose's hand and spun her around in excitement. Look at that beautiful rainbow. It's like a sign of our love. Let's take a picture, Nicole suggested, and everyone gathered together, smiling widely. With the rainbow in the background, it was the perfect moment to capture their joy. As they took the photo, John whispered to Rose, I can't believe how amazing this day has been, rain and all. Rose smiled, feeling that they would always remember this day as one of the most special moments of their lives. Chapter 9 The Moral of the Day As the day came to a close and the sun began to set, John and Rose sat down together, watching the waves crash softly against the shore. You know, today taught me something important, John said, looking into Rose's eyes. What's that? she asked curiously. Even when things don't go as planned, we can still have the best time if we embrace the unexpected. Our love can shine brighter through every storm, he said, grinning. Rose nodded in agreement. And we have our family and friends to support us through everything. We're so lucky. As they held hands watching the sunset, they knew their wedding day was more than just about the ceremony. It was about the laughter, the surprises, and the love that surrounded them. Chapter 10 A New Beginning with the last rays of the sun disappearing, John turned to Rose. Let's promise to always face life's surprises together, no matter how rainy it gets. Agreed, Rose replied, her heart filled with joy. As the stars twinkled in the night sky, they knew this was just the beginning of their adventure together. With their love shining brightly, they were ready to take on the world rain or shine. And so, the story of John and Rose's wedding day became a cherished memory for everyone who attended, a reminder that life's twists and turns make it all the more beautiful and exciting. The End Moral of the Story No matter how unpredictable life gets, embrace the unexpected. With love.